chapter 6, we deal with scale effects in flows. We figure out what it takes to have a scale down or scale up version of a given existing flow. Sounds like a very academic question, but in practice it's a very useful one. Because you may remember from chapter 4 that we have considerable difficulty running computational fluid dynamic simulations accurately at normal scales for normal flows. And so very often we resort to experiments in practical fluid dynamics to be able to calibrate and to validate uh, these computational fluid dynamics simulations. So there are two questions you may work on as you prepare for chapter 6. The first is a fun thought experiment. Imagine that you have an elephant. And you take the elephant and you scale it down by a factor of 20. So now the elephant fits in your hands. The question is, how does the pressure under the feet of the miniature elephant compare to the pressure under the feet of the real elephant? How much smaller or larger is this pressure in compared to the real case? It's a relatively easy question to answer once you figure out that when you shrink down the length of the elephant by a factor of 20, you also, do, you also shrink down the height and the width of the elephant by a factor of 20. So try to work out the math behind that one as a first um, question to study in this chapter. The second question is a slightly more complex question. It's as follows. If you have two objects, two exactly identical objects, with two exactly identical flows flowing around them, but the difference between the two is that in the second case, the velocity everywhere is exactly halved compared to the original flow. The question is, and you can answer that with chapter 3, integral analysis, or analysis of existing flows. The question is, how does the force, the net force, applying on this object on the left, compare to the force on the object on the left? How do these two forces compare? Answering these two questions um, will help you prepare for chapter 6, because in chapter 6 we, we try to answer the general question, what exactly do I need to do to generate a scaled down or scaled up version of an existing fluid flow? And this is a really tricky question. Um, if we want all the physical laws to be carried out in the small or large version of the original flow. And in the process, we'll figure out one of the key parameters in fluid dynamics, which is a Reynolds number, and we'll figure out why it is formulated this way and how are the terms related to one another. I wish you a very happy preparation and I'll see you on Thursday for chapter 6.